Hey guys, I just wanted to send a quick message, so it'll probably be 10 minutes here. Can't do nothing quick anymore. Uh, but give a big thank you to Gabriel Monteverdi for coming. Gracias, Gabriel. Gracias. Thank you so much for coming and uh, working with and sparring hard with Joe. We certainly appreciate it. Uh, we also appreciate the kind comments that you had with Joe. Uh, his head just was swelling uh, at the confidence that, that you gave him. Uh, to the rest of you, I put a video out yesterday or the day before yesterday talking a little bit about, uh, you know, the experience. Uh, Joe found out that uh, and got told by this professional, nobody hits like you do, kid. Nobody. I've never faced anybody that hits like you. So that's a good thing. Uh, uh, he encouraged and he showed Joe a lot of things on to continue moving forward. Uh, uh, and he was like, that's all that's required of you is to move forward and, and do what you're good at. And you'll be dictating these fights. You'll, you'll be just be dictating them. So everything we heard was very encouraging. Uh, of course, uh, Gabriel's professional. He's many, many years experience. Uh, they call him the national champion killer around here, destroyer. Uh, He's, he's went to several countries throughout the North and South America just destroying their national champions uh, with relative ease. So this, I mean, this guy's good. And uh, we we're just very blessed, very blessed. And I also want to uh, give a shout out to Kirk Williams and Zeke Castro. Uh, they both came up a little short in the last chance Olympic qualifiers uh, this week. Uh, neither one of them are giving an inch. Uh, they are back to the grindstone and working and working and digging deeper and deeper. And uh, my hat's off and big mad respect to... Zeke and Kirk, uh, you know, you guys know we really send love to you and much respect to you guys. So we're uh, uh, we're always in your corner, always. And uh, just wanted to give a little uh, quicker video out, giving some. Uh, little bit more forethought thought into uh, Joe's week with a professional this week and uh, the goodness that came from it. Uh, Joe got schooled. Uh, he sure did. But there's so many positives that, uh, that Gabriel said about Joe that just elated Joe. And uh, we're so very thankful. And uh, he came to tell us the truth. He wasn't going to hold nothing back. He gave us a big, long list of things that uh, Joe's really going to have to work on. Uh, he opened up some of the things he has in his secret tool chest that he doesn't really just go out here sharing with everybody. But he shared a lot of things with Joe. And uh, we are very grateful uh, to you, Gabriel, and uh, we hope to have you again and again and again because it's only really tremendously helping Joe. And uh, uh, we love you, Gabriel. We're very thankful. Our door is always open to you, and uh, had a wonderful time with you. Uh, we are under the weather this week. Uh, since then, about the time Gabriel left the next day, Joe and I woke up not feeling well, and we've got some bad colds. Uh, uh, 
I was worse yesterday. Joe's worse today. So we're not going to work out this weekend. Uh, even if we need to take Monday off, we'll we'll take it because you you uh, you need to heal up so uh, and get better and get better when you get sick. So just wanted to tell you guys that Kirk and Zeke, we're very proud of you guys, and I want to tell you something. Specifically to you two guys. You already know this, but I'm just saying it publicly. Uh, both you boys know the Lord. Both you boys know and have faith that God's got good things in store for both of you. And that's why both of you aren't flinching a bit to loss. And mad respect to you guys. But I, I feel led and I'm going to tell you boys this. Uh, your, your faith is like the wind. You can't see it, but you can sure feel it. You, you, you can't see it, but you sure know when it's blowing on you. And everybody else can feel it too that's around you. They can't see it, but they can also feel your faith, just like they can feel the wind if they're standing right beside you. Y'all keep that going. Y'all keep that going and uh, keep the growth going. Because I know what I see. I'm an old man. Just you guys got to figure. Y'all you, young. Joe's the youngest. And uh, keep pushing forward and keep pushing for great things. Uh, I also wanted to say Gabriel was really shocked and impressed with uh, Diego, Joe's training partner. Uh, he, he said, man, this, this 50 kilo kid hits like he's 70 or 75 kilos. He's like, how do you do that? And we just, you, we, we go on the strength is the foundation when you first come in with us. It's building, building your, the strength of your body up. Uh, at the very beginning and building that punching power at the very beginning and moving out from there. So, uh, but it was really good to hear, hear that about uh, what he said about Diego. And uh, Diego's only been doing this a little over a couple of months. So we're doing a good job around here. Uh, and we're very happy with what we're seeing and everything moving forward. Uh, maybe I take Joe up to get into a little tournament up in Cartagena. Uh, my big thing was accomplished this week, though, which was getting Joe tested and see where, what we got. And uh, uh, Gabriel said there'll be nobody uh, in Joe's age bracket and weight that'll even give him any competition. You know, he's like, Joe just needs to go dead on him and he'll get a knockout in the first 40 seconds to minute. And he said, trust me, that's exactly what's going to happen. So we were elated to hear these things. Again, Gabriel, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we, our door's always open to you. And we hope to see you again. To our Christian brothers and sisters, we, we hope God blesses you. And to everyone else, we hope that you meet the Lord, the King of Kings. And uh, we hope everybody has a good week that's coming up. And uh, and we wish good tidings to y'all. Thank you.